Good afternoon. I uh, thought I'd jump on and do one of the uh, live sessions from here in the amazing garden that we've hired for the weekend. You can see we're in the back end of a place called Eam. Beautiful hill over the top there. Um, went out for a nice walk this morning. And, you know, the reason that we didn't do the Friday live coaching was because we we're away and getting a bit of freedom. Um, and that's really what I wanted to talk about today is freedom. And what does it mean to have that? So a lot of us want to find happiness. A lot of us want to find success. But I think what we actually really want is, is freedom. Freedom to do what we want to do, when we want to do it, and how we want to do it. A lot of people struggle to do what they want to do in life or what they enjoy in life because they fear what other people think of them. And freedom is, is the ability to be able to do what you want to do on your terms. And I think it comes down to the simple fact and the simple thing of finding out exactly what your values are and what you enjoy and then aligning your actions in a congruent way to do that. A lot of times people will figure out their values, but do they find their true values or do they find somebody else's values? And then even when they find their values, they flirt with them a bit, but never align their actions with those values. And therefore we build some frustration and we become anxious that we're not actually leaning into our values. And when we're not leaning into our values, we have a lack of freedom. Freedom would be that you get up and you do the job that you want to do. You have the hobbies that you want to have. You have the freedom that you want, but we don't do that because we're too scared to align our actions with our values. So my challenge for you this week is to start aligning your actions and your values together. Um, just start with something, start with something small. If you haven't done the values calculator, then let me know and I'll email that to you. And then look at your highest three values and commit to putting into your diary each week one of those values. Whether that value is time, whether that value is exercise, whether that value is speaking, whether that value is cooking, whatever it is, even if it doesn't relate or tie into the work that you do, make sure you put it in because that's when you'll start feeling and experiencing freedom. So we're here now, one of our values, uh, my dearest value and Sarah's top values is nature, is walking, is exercise. So we come out and we get away and we do this on a regular basis for our weekends. So it's super, super important that you, uh, you lean into those values. And what was really interesting on the way here, instead of just driving here and getting here, we, we actually decided to, to go via a city which has got some great investment ideas. So this whole misnomer that you can't do everything that you want is illogical. The thing that holds us back is the fear of what other people are going to think of us for doing it. So don't fear judgment. Find your values, align them with your actions, and then you get yourself a bit of freedom. I hope you have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Make sure you do something that's within your values list. If you haven't done the values calculator, let me know and I'll send that to you. But otherwise, have an amazing weekend. Go and chase whatever dreams they are and detach yourself from the outcome and do not fear what other people will be thinking of you. Have a great one and look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care.